hello guys welcome back to another vlog welcome back to house of cremel and this edition of the vlog is special because we are prepping for my son's second birthday party so this year we decided to do something similar to what we did last year last year we um i mean i guess we had a few more people but we did our best to do a COVID friendly um, birthday party. It was his first birthday party. So, I mean, I did find it difficult not to do anything, but I also felt a bit more comfortable because I kind of knew what my family had been up to and Charles' family. So I felt comfortable gathering, even though it was a very scary time, but it was a joyous occasion. And um, more and more, I just kind of think in these days, we want to observe those special occasions and not miss out on those memories while being safe so we have chosen to gather again and um it is going to be a slightly smaller crew we've um, reduced it down to just our immediate families and um <laughs> i mean if you have a big family even sometimes your immediate family can fill up a house so i mean it was just like this is our number anyway we're prepping for a bookie second birthday party i have a lot to do um, so far, we have just kind of started putting things in position, but I'm about to start the real work. Um, Charles has put um, Buki, our son, up to bed, and so now I can really start getting things done. We've already done stuff like clean the bathrooms. We did that in between work today and picked up a couple random things. So now we are... Um, Again, to the decorating part, the fun part. At least I hope it's fun. I am going to have a fairly simple setup. One thing we vowed to do was not stress ourselves out this year. So we are not cooking any meals. We're not cooking okay. Like we're not cooking anything. We're buying it all. Judge away. <laughs> but um, I mean, I feel great about it, and um, it's just about setup. So once I get through this evening, tomorrow should run pretty smoothly. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I think I'm going to start by putting the tablecloths and the tables I have in the living room and go from there. All right, guys, so I am setting up my empty living room with tables for my family to gather and eat in. Um, the theme of my son's birthday party is to the moon and back. So I'm just trying to take into account the space of the theme and I got some um what do they call it twilight um tablecloths from Amazon so just something simple in here not doing too much and I got some little table toppers that were also space themed so that's what a, what is that a a satellite goodness gracious I'm sorry it's really late when I'm doing this voiceover guys and I'm just, I think I have an astronaut, a rocket ship, all space themed things to go in here. So I'm not really doing too much in here. I just wanted to put a small touch since um, my family would be eating here. Everybody is getting this Thanksgiving tablescape until it is Thanksgiving. Thank you. So now I'm moving on to my main table setup. This is where I'm going to make the big feature. This is in my kitchen where we usually eat every day. I'm going to turn this space into birthday central. So right now what you see me doing is spreading out a birthday banner. All of the decorations that you see that I've purchased came from Amazon. I will link everything below. Um, it was very inexpensive, but um, I was actually pretty impressed with the quality of this banner. It was actually a, um, a cloth, printed cloth, so it wasn't just like some paper and it didn't cost that much. Next, I have another one of those tablecloths that I'm going to put in here. I really liked putting the tablecloth here because it really bought 
the um, it brought out the scene going on in the banner. So I really loved the way this came together. And next, I'm going to put together my acrylic cupcake stand. You guys, I have had this cupcake stand since my wedding. I actually ordered it for my wedding. I had cupcakes at my wedding. I always kind of wanted to do that. So, um, and I brought my own cupcake stand and I saved it. I pull this out for any event that I'm going to have cupcakes in. And it's very versatile because it is clear. So I thought this would be um, the perfect occasion to use it. cupcake stand um, and I put one of my little table toppers on top just to stay in theme and also just because I didn't buy that many cupcakes so there will definitely be space <laughs> all right now I'm about to start laying out the party supplies I got my son's candle the plates the napkins and the food labels and the cups I went with silver because um, actually I really wanted clear but it believe it or not wasn't in stock at party city so i went with the next best color and that was a futuristic silver i definitely moved things around a bit but right now you see me starting to put together the snack and dessert well candy side of the table i wanted to have all space themed candies and snacks so you'll see stuff like starburst milky way i got rock candy over there calling them meteorites it was really cute i got this idea off of pinterest so i decided to give it a go and it was actually pretty easy Alright guys, so little story behind these um, cream filled cupcakes. I actually wanted moon pies, but I went to the store to get them and they don't sell them. Like moon pies kind of don't exist anymore. They sell them on Amazon in really big quantities, but they aren't just in the store. So if you're looking for moon pies, order them off Amazon because you will not find them in the grocery store. At least not where I live. decided to just talk on this part um since most of this video is a voiceover but it's almost midnight and i've been avoiding this part so i gotta um i got a balloon arch from amazon and all the reviews say it's pretty easy but i am so nervous to get this wrong now I do have a um, balloon inflator. I'll show it to you to help me with the balloons, but I mean, they're not gonna tie them. I don't know. I'm just nervous, but let's see what happens because I don't think I wanna be doing this tomorrow. Anybody know what these are? Like, what are you supposed to do with these? Do they hold, do they make it easier to tie? Like, I don't know what to do with these. Tell me okay so guys that what i was holding in my hand is actually a balloon knotter it helps to save your hands from all the pain that you might experience if you have to tie a bunch of balloons if you've done that before then you know um the balloon kit did come with some directions and that is how i learned what it actually you're supposed to how you're supposed to use that thing i actually got two of those with my balloon inflator 
but the directions didn't really explain to me how to use it so I'm actually really happy that I now know how to use it because it did save my fingers and my time and my little life Gonna keep it going. this was not hard at all it is much easier than it looks and you get such a grand result with these things so um probably some of the best money and time i ever spent um so the hardest thing was actually hanging it i tied some strings around the um clear banner that the balloons are attached to and I taped those strings to the edges of my window. It probably wasn't the best way to attach it, but I really didn't think through how I was gonna hang it up there prior to. So it did the job, it stayed up through the entire party um, and it worked. I also had some aluminum balloons that came with it. And so I blew those up with the inflator and I taped them to the balloon arch into the banner with some adhesive dots that came with the balloon kit all right guys I think my first balloon arch is considered a success even though I couldn't figure out how to blow up the uh, skinny pieces to create the planets in the uh, balloons I think I need I needed a manual um, air pumper and I have one but I cannot find it so I was just like it's not worth the stress let me just finish the arch and we'll roll with this and I'll, none of the planets will have rings <laughs> but um this is what our table is looking like um, I have the snacks here and in, in case I didn't say it or you didn't catch it I tried to pick space themed um, candy and snacks so I put the cheese balls in the ball when the party actually starts but yeah and then I just got this out placeholders for the food um, 
and of course my cupcake tower for the cupcakes so overall i think it's pretty amazing this is my like one and only showstopper point so i mean we really wanted to make this simple um this is simple to me and i also i have just wanted to try my hand at doing a balloon arch for a while it's just extremely intimidating but I will tell you now, if I haven't already told you, do not let balloon garland um, intimidate you. This was actually very easy. A little labor involved, but it was well worth it. And as long as you have a balloon um, air blower or pumper, whatever you call it, you can get them from probably anywhere from Party City to Amazon. I got mine off Amazon. I'll link it. And um, those knotter things that I showed on my hands... You will survive this and it will be so easy and you will be so pleased. So, I am going to rest a little bit because I was up until 2.30? No, 2. I'm exaggerating. I was up until like 1.45 last night, but I don't think I went to sleep until like 2. Um, Just because I was procrastinating on actually putting the arch together. But once I actually started, it was great. And it probably took me maybe an hour. I think it could have took me an hour if I knew what I was doing going in, but it took me about an hour and a half to get all the balloons blown up and put into the little plastic piece that um, they're all attached to. All right. Oh, all right. Hey, guys. It is me. Um, this is the showered version of me. I am headed to go pick up the cupcakes and the sandwiches for the party. And Chuck is going to go pick up the wings later. So... Let's go get the cupcakes. get up all right so i ended up going to get the sandwiches first because the cupcakes won't be ready until to pick up until after 11 30. so i got my sandwiches they were ready to go they smell great they look great and i need to fix my bun and i think i'm gonna grab something quick to eat because i haven't eaten anything yet and it's 11 15 like i mean i'm more than i haven't eaten anything yet so I think I'm going to grab something real quick and then I'm going to head to get the cupcakes and then head back home. Hey guys, real quick, um, I think we're about ready. I am back, everything is set up. Charles just went to go pick up the wings. And um, yeah, I'll show you what the table looks like so far. So I did switch some things up. Uh, I'm just very much impressed with the balloon arch. But um, got all my space themed snacks out. Got the cupcakes from Piece of Cake. Um, my, what is it called? My pedestal, whatever this thing, cake stand, cupcake stand. Don't have enough room to put the, I could try. Maybe if I put them in real deep, I don't know. I'm gonna try that when I come back though. And I switched up the table a little bit. I got the subs here, decided not to take them out of the boxes because they say what kind of sandwiches are in each. So, got drinks over here, chips over here, oil vinegar, deli dressing that I just had in the cabinet, cups, utensils, everything you need. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, I need to blow up those little things. Got a little station over here just in case people need an uh, extra level of comfort. 
and um, a couple jammy snacks for the toddlers and I got some applesauce pouches in the fridge so I'm about to take a breather upstairs really quick before people start coming you know sometimes people come a little bit earlier than you start so I'm gonna take what I have which is a moment <laughs> a literal moment and um sit down Buki's still taking a nap which is good um so he'll be nice and rested when all of his people come so uh we'll be back oh i need to go get the speaker and more hand sanitizer all right be back It don't have to stay on. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna break my baby's uh, activity before he even get a chance to go in it. Look at that. What did your shirt say, Dad? Dad is the birthday boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm the mom. Uh oh. I can't see it. You ready to read? Um, you jumping in? You know. I wonder if they partner with Intertex to do it. <laughs> Look at the birthday boy. Book you turn around. Let him see your shirt. To the moon. It's a bubble. He's like, bubbles, mommy. Bubbles. Are you on this side?
We did it. <laughs> we did it, guys. He behind you, baby. We just finished telling everyone goodbye and everyone had a good time. Buki got a lot of nice gifts. Here. He also got his first um, vehicle. We have no idea where we're going to park it. I guess we're going to park it in the office. <laughs> no, because then he'll never ride. Well, we won't bring it up to ride it. Yeah. Oh, we're working on that. We definitely got to purge old stuff to make room for Bookie's new stuff. So. Yep. I guess we'll end the vlog here. I have no idea how much of the party I caught, but I guess you'll see. Huh? Yeah. I guess you'll see, you know, when uh, we'll both see together. <laughs> Y'all want some wings or something? We <laughs> some, Look at our t shirts. Like some cupcakes or something. Don't yeah, this, oh yeah. Ain't she cute though? Mom and Dad. Stop being fresh. How I'm being fresh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stop. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this our channel. And um, we'll see button. you guys next time. Hit the button. And like the well, button. it's not quite his birthday yet, but today is the day we celebrated it. His birthday is actually in a few days. He's um busying himself. Say bye-bye, Bookie. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Look at yourself and say bye-bye. <laughs> You're not gonna say bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Bookie has had enough. Bookie's had enough. He's um uh, moved on to doing the dishes. So um I hope no knives are in there. Um, yeah guys, we gotta go. And also, oh that is yours. Bye. <laughs>